Okay, so what's on my mind this morning, Patria? Mm -hmm. For the second time in two weeks is Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts. So let me bring you up to speed quickly, listeners, with the latest developments if you haven't been following keenly over the past couple of weeks. And this is concerning the sexual harassment scandal. An lecturer who's been accused by several female students over a period reportedly spanning 10 years at the school. Now, the principal of that fine arts institution, Dr. Nicolene deGrasse Johnson, went before Parliament's Public Administration and Appropriations Committee earlier this week, and there she admitted that she received a formal complaint, well, a written complaint of sexual harassment against a lecturer at the university Almost two years ago. A that, formal complaint because it wasn't written. She didn't get that She report. got one, one written complaint. She got four complaints in all, and one of them was in writing. Mm -hmm. And what was done about it? Well, she says she pulled the lecturer one side and warned him. And she said she couldn't do anything else because there was no evidence. So let's listen to the exchange at the PAAC. It starts with Dr. DeGrasse Johnson telling the committee that a faculty member brought several complaints to her against the accused professor. I received uh, two years ago a complaint. I spoke with the lecturer and with the vice principal and at that point he was uh, asked if we heard anything else we would have done the procedure according to what we have done. And when this came up in April, we immediately acted on it. And then she said that she didn't hear anything else after that. But PAC member Leslie Campbell grilled Dr. DeGrasse Johnson for several minutes, after which the principal said she asked the faculty member to get the statements from the complainants, which resulted in one written formal complaint. Uh, immediately, I asked her if the students had put it in writing, at that point, uh, she didn't have anything, and I told her that uh, for us to go anywhere with it, they would have to have put it in writing. All right. And what did you do after that? Because she, she, you, did you instruct her to go and get the statements? Yes, I did. Yes, and did she come back to you with those statements? She came back a few weeks after that. A few weeks? Yeah. Well, Mr. Campbell, you can hear the tone of his voice there, and he was clearly furious. He then questioned what actions the principal pursued at that time. And Dr. DeGrasse John says at that point she took the accused professor aside and warned him. And she said they did that because there was a lack of evidence. 2017 or thereabouts when you received her, nothing was done in furtherance of your obligation under the code. Not true, sir. All right, Not well, true, tell sir. this committee what you did. I spoke with the vice principal of academic affairs at that point. Mm -hmm. Nothing came in before that. And so, because of the delicacy of the matter, when the, the lecturer returned to college, we had a conversation with him. At that point, I said to him, if it happened because I didn't have anything else to work with, and he denied it, if it happened again, we would move forward. And I didn't get anything else until this year. And we moved forward. It was just frustrating to listen to on so many levels. And I see your face looking all screwed up as well, Pat. Now, I don't know if the allegations in this particular situation were sexual harassment or sexual assault. Because I don't know that sexual harassment is a crime, like something that you can be charged with. But if it was assault then that should have been reported to the police for them to gather evidence. But let's say, though, that it was alleged harassment with four female students complaining. These complaints come to you. Then it's your duty to launch an investigation into these complaints. You can't just sit on and say there was no evidence. It's just the student's word against the teacher's word. First of all, it's four students word against the teacher's uh, word. So that's why you launch an investigation and that investigation will then give you your evidence or lack thereof. Were there other people around when this happened? Were there other witnesses who can corroborate what these students are saying? 
Uh, and if no evidence is found, then you can safely say, well, we did launch an investigation. Turns out these young women were all lying or, or whatever the case may be. But like Leslie Campbell, the PAC member, I'm just flabbergasted that what Dr. DeGrasse Johnson described appears to have been the extent of the investigation. Of the intervention, because I didn't hear any word of an investigation being launched. That it just didn't sound to me like someone who was truly interested in the well being of the students. Yeah? And then to make matters worse, if you heard the board chairman, Marigold Harding, on cover story day before yesterday, Mm -hmm. uh, she was shocked. To hear all of this in Parliament, because she says the principal never told her or the board any such thing, and the principal is a member of the board. In fact, when she was asked previously, she said no complaint had come to her, if I'm recalling correctly. So how come the story changed now? And, and oh, yeah, I did get a complaint, four complaints, two years ago. But Patria K, you know what the worst part of this ordeal is for me as bad as everything I've described already is and the reaction of the school the response of the school the lack of an investigation into these allegations the worst part of this ordeal to me is that these women from this institution are taking a public battering for their handling of this matter yes and and uh, and I think rightly so Mm -hmm. but all no we don't know who this accused male teacher is I know well, you know who it is yes. because you happen to be familiar with the person. Yes. But all now the public doesn't know who this accused male teacher is. His identity is being protected when he's the one that we really should be mad at. And I yeah. understand, you know, the anger at the school's handling of the situation. But he's the one that we really should be mad at. And we, we, we're unable to to fully direct our anger at him because we don't know who he is. Uh We don't have a face. We don't have a name. We don't have anything. So we're directing our anger at the school, which deserves part of the blame, yes. But all of this is because of him and his actions, what he allegedly did. Uh, As far as I know, he's still there i haven't heard anything about him being sent on leave have you he is on leave he's on leave yes he's on leave there's a hearing that's to happen in another week um about the second matter well at and least that's a step encompass, encompass it all. at least that's a step i know there was an emergency board meeting yesterday morning as well not mm-hmm. sure what came out of that or what will come out of that but in all of this let's not forget you know where our attention really should belong, where the brunt of our our issue is. I, I, feel, the, I, f- I particularly feel hurt for the girls who came forward mm-hmm. and said, this happened to me. Mm-hmm. If those in authority, and it, 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 if those in authority don't hear me and do something when I'm brave enough to speak up, that's a problem. Hmm. That's what's on my mind.